China's recent announcement of successfully mass-producing advanced lithography machines has sent shockwaves through the global semiconductor industry, leaving the United States in a state of sheer surprise. This achievement represents a grand masterstroke by China, challenging the traditional technological hegemony that the U.S. and its allies have enjoyed in this critical sector. Let's delve deeper into this fascinating development and its implications. Leaving us a like proves you like what we do here. Then be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification to be notified of any recent video. Thank you. Lithography machines are the unsung heroes of the technology world. These high-precision instruments etch intricate patterns onto silicon wafers to create integrated circuits, which are the very lifeblood of modern devices, from smartphones to smart cars. Traditionally, this market has been dominated by a select few major players primarily based in the US, Europe, and Japan. The Netherlands-based ASML, a specialist in the production of extreme ultraviolet, EUV lithography machines held the gold standard in the industry. The exclusivity of this technology, coupled with its complexity, created a high barrier to entry and gave certain nations significant leverage in global trade and technology negotiations. China's recent achievement not only signifies a technological leap, but also underlines a strategic move to reduce its dependence on foreign-made equipment. For years, China has been heavily investing in its Made in China 2025 initiative, aiming to increase its self-reliance in key technologies. However, mass-producing lithography machines was viewed by many experts as an insurmountable challenge for the nation in such a short time frame. Yet, China has achieved this feat not by replicating or reverse engineering but through innovation. China's unwavering commitment to becoming a technological superpower fueled vast resources into research, infrastructure, and talent acquisition. Universities, private enterprises, and state-backed institutions collaborated seamlessly, sharing insights, resources, and breakthroughs. Moreover, China's approach was not about mere replication, but about pushing the boundaries of innovation. Its vast talent pool, reinforced by returning experts from abroad, embarked on a relentless pursuit of knowledge and experimentation, enabling them to overcome hurdles faster than many anticipated. From the U.S. perspective, China's breakthrough has several significant implications. Firstly, it challenges the traditional technological hegemony that the U.S. and its allies have enjoyed in the semiconductor manufacturing sector. The U.S. previously had significant leverage in technology trade negotiations due to its dominance in key sectors, especially in semiconductor manufacturing. Now, with China emerging as a formidable competitor, the dynamics are set to change. Moreover, the economic implications are profound. The global semiconductor market is worth hundreds of billions of dollars, and shifts in market shares can have significant repercussions for economies. U.S. companies, which once relied on a near monopoly in certain segments, will now have to compete fiercely with Chinese counterparts, both in terms of innovation and price. However, it's not all doom and gloom for the U.S. China's advancement can also serve as a wake-up call. The semiconductor industry is continually evolving, and staying ahead requires constant innovation and investment. This could ignite a new era of technological competition, pushing both nations to even greater heights. China's success story with lithography machines is not just about China's rise, but also about the changing nature of innovation in the 21st century. In an interconnected world, knowledge, expertise, and resources flow across borders at an unprecedented rate. Any nation, given the right focus and resources, can rise to the forefront of technology. China's success is a testament to that. As the dust settles from this announcement, one can't help but wonder about the ripple effects it will have on the broader technological landscape. Beyond the immediate implications for the semiconductor industry, China's achievement is likely to recalibrate global supply chains. The semiconductor industry relies heavily on a complex web of suppliers, distributors, and manufacturers that span the globe. 
With China's newfound capacity to produce state-of-the-art lithography machines, many semiconductor giants might look towards establishing or expanding their operations within China, attracted by streamlined operations and potential cost savings. The impact on research and development trajectories is significant. For decades, the U.S., along with a few other countries, has been at the forefront of technological R&D, attracting top talent and garnering the majority of global patents. With China's undeniable progress in the field, it may soon become a nexus for global tech talent, research partnerships, and innovation hubs. The collaborative potential could be enormous, leading to faster breakthroughs and more efficient technology dissemination. China's ability to mass-produce lithography machines represents a transformative moment in the global technology ecosystem. The traditional order is shifting, and nations are now not only competing for dominance, but also looking for opportunities to collaborate and leverage each other's strengths. As the boundaries between technology, commerce, and geopolitics continue to blur, our understanding of how innovation works in the 21st century must evolve as well. In this era of intense competition, nations and companies must invest more than ever in innovation. The shockwave caused by China's achievement should serve as a wake-up call, pushing countries like the United States to double down on research and development, education, and fostering a conducive environment for innovation. In this environment, innovation is not a solitary endeavor but a collaborative one. Cross-border partnerships, knowledge exchange, and shared research initiatives will be vital to maintaining a leading edge. The evolving tech landscape also requires a rethinking of international regulations and standards. As technology bifurcation becomes a concern, the world must work to establish common ground in areas such as intellectual property, cybersecurity, and data privacy. This co-evolution of regulations is critical to maintaining a level playing field in global technology markets and fostering trust among nations. With the rise of new technological powerhouses, it's paramount to harness this power responsibly. Technological advances can have far-reaching consequences on societies and individuals. Ensuring that technology benefits all of humanity, rather than just a select few, is a moral and ethical imperative. This means addressing concerns related to digital rights, privacy, and equity, and working together to build a tech-driven future that respects and protects the rights and well-being of all citizens. The tech sector will increasingly face a balancing act between innovation and security. As nations intensify their efforts to outdo each other, the risks associated with technology theft and cyber espionage will rise. Here, nations need to find common ground on how to protect sensitive information and critical infrastructure while still fostering innovation and collaboration. In this age of technology dominance, the world will see a shift in the movement of global talent. China's rise as a technological powerhouse will attract top experts and researchers from around the world. This talent migration should be seen as an opportunity to pool global knowledge and expertise for the collective good, rather than a zero-sum game. As supply chains shift and industries adapt to the new technological order, it's crucial for nations to foster economic and social resilience. This involves retraining workers for the jobs of the future, diversifying economies, and ensuring that no one is left behind in the rush for technological advancement. The shockwave generated by China's mass production of lithography machines has left the world in a state of both excitement and apprehension. It's a reminder that the only constant in the world of technology is change, and change can be both a challenge and an opportunity. In this rapidly evolving landscape, nations, companies, and individuals must adapt and evolve. We need to recognize that global technology ecosystems are not isolated entities, but intricate networks of interdependence and collaboration. We must embrace the spirit of innovation and cooperation to navigate the road ahead successfully. The story of China's technological leap serves as a testament to the potential of determined nations in a connected world. As we move forward, we must balance competition with cooperation innovation with regulation, and progress with responsibility. The global technology community now faces a new reality, one where the rules of the game are being rewritten. 
How we adapt and seize the opportunities that come our way will define our future in this brave new world of technology. And now let's hear from you in the comments section. If you enjoyed today's content, then leave us a like, subscribe and ensure the bell notification is on to be notified of our recent content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.